Hey, my YouTube friends. Now it's really late at night and let's go for a little adventure. And we are at the reservoir down here and we're gonna go right up to the mountains and we're gonna go to the peak of Hong Kong. So come join me and let's go. Oh, this is really adventurous. And that's how we're gonna go up to the peak. <laughs> this is uh, where we're uh, gonna start from. Here I am walking uh, the little trail to the peak. And um, let me tell you why there are reservoirs. Before, like long time in the 70s, there used to be a really big shortage of uh, fresh water from Hong Kong. And the uh, population is growing bigger from day to day. And uh, it's had to go to a point that there wasn't enough fresh water because there wasn't enough rain. So right now, Hong Kong, actually they depend uh, the water supply, they depend it from mainland China. So when you guys have a chance to take a train to mainland China, to Shenzhen, you would see all these massive freshwater pipes that are supply Hong Kong with fresh water. And that has been going since the 80s until right now. And it's like a really, really long-term contract. So even nowadays, if it rains really heavily and the reservoirs are full, waters are being wasted. And that's, that's sometimes it's a waste, isn't it? So that is basically the story uh, on uh, the water supply in Hong Kong. Well, along this path, um, you would see a lot of these uh, stairs. And it's pretty cool because these stairs actually lead you deep inside the mountain. And uh, you never know where you end up to. And usually it's locked, but uh, I'm sure a lot of people who try to climb over the fence and uh, do a little bit of uh, adventure going up this uh, the path. So we are here. Um, quarter of the way and let's keep on going well by the way uh, what do you think of my uh, awesome uh, LED flashlights that I got from uh, Shenzhen so do uh, check out I had a live video from Shenzhen at a flashlight place which you can get thousand plus uh, LED flashlights to select from and uh, it's a pretty good little video because this mesmerized me seeing so many flashlights but uh, you can see here let's take a look down here and it's pretty bright and today I'm lazy I'm just uh, making a video with my flashlight so this is the incline now I have my uh, uh, camera leveled straight level so this is the incline you'll see which is uh, pretty steep no wild boars so far we just saw a few just now and it's pretty frightening here we are continually continuing going upwards and it's getting really really steep now and the fun part is how we're gonna come back down we can come right back down the same way we started from so you'll feel your muscles both from the calf and from the knees heavy breathing here so if I have some uh, subscribers that smoke it'll be awesome to uh, have a break and have a cigarette right 
maybe an ice cold beer. <laughs> well, here's the uh, crossroads here. And obviously we're hiking upwards. So we're gonna hook a left because on the right, I tried uh, going through before. Uh, it leads to uh, the waterworks department and it's a totally wrong way. And it's pretty far ways up to go for a dead end. And here we are, we're coming up and let's take a look at the sign. Okay, and so it's not that far, like uh, one and a half kilometers, but the incline is like at least, uh, at least I think 40 degrees plus, so it's pretty steep. And uh, I'm getting tired, I'm not fit. So the re reason I'm taking you guys along is to uh, show you how I try to get some free exercise in Hong Kong, trying to, well, let me set this camera level. So this is the angle we're coming up. And uh, I'm not very fit. It's pretty obvious, right? Uh, here are the little stairways that take you to somewhere interesting up there. So these guys are crazy, look. Yeah. It's got so much energy, oh my God. And I'm puffing and huffing, huffing and puffing. They go again. Oh my God. Oh, oops, oops, gonna fall down. Well, I'm taking a little break here uh, in the middle of nowhere, complete darkness, just uh, surrounded with uh, LED flashlights. So let's fast forward and uh, take a look at the dinner scene because that's the most rewarding part. When you do your exercise going up the mountain, you gotta pick yourself out, right? So, awesome. Okay. <laughs> well, finally, here we are, uh, right at the peak, and uh, you can see the massive lineup. Here, let me just get a really a step up and you'll see the line. And this is the crazy line that takes you back to uh, Central via the, the tram. So it's not gonna be fun. And the sad thing is this has been, uh, they've been renovating this uh, mall for a long, long time, which isn't fun. Well, so when you come to the peak, uh, people take the uh, peak tram. And this is the line. And yes, I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna line up. Look at it. That's my favorite place to come. And look at the line. It's crazy, man. And uh, I don't think we need to line up though, because uh, we're a special guest tonight, which is awesome. Definitely save you at least an hour's wait, especially in uh, New York City. Oh, here, here we are. Our table is ready. If I can find these guys. And here we are. They got a window seat. Awesome. Here, let me show you the view. This place is awesome because you get a, the best views in Hong Kong. And that's the view from the restaurant. Isn't that awesome? Okay, here we are. Everything's arrived, so let's check out food. Wow, this is an appetizer. Oh, that's the appetizer and the good old mac and cheese, some uh, shrimps, Cajun style, calamari, and some chicken salad. 
Well, we're gonna enjoy ourselves. Uh, the tram is just right down there, so you guys can see the tram wherever it goes. And there's the map of uh, Hong Kong. Oh, excuse me, the United States of America. Ha ha ha, I got you there. Uh, awesome restaurant. So this is my reward for going for a hike. These sauces. That is a good collection here. That's a lot of sauces. These are little uh, tunnels, actually the caves dug out and now it's sealed because uh, during the war, when the Japanese came to invade Hong Kong and uh, they built all these uh, tunnels and all the people would just come hiding inside so they won't get bombed. So now they have sealed it with bricks. I guess it's not in operation anymore. Nobody's gonna bomb Hong Kong. So we are safe. Well, here's another one. And it leads, it's a tunnel. Actually, it's pretty deep inside. It goes really deep. And uh, it just goes through in here. Interesting. So we're in the late evening and we can see complete darkness. By the way, this is a pretty tough hike for me anyways. Uh, and it's good too because uh, you can do a lot of cardio doing this regularly. But anyways, I'm not bringing any action cam or anything. I'm using my new cell phone trying to get the best view for you guys. So here's a little picture. How my setup is. Okay. <laughs> and uh, we found some, uh, I don't know what you call it. Porcupine. Porcupines? They're kind of pricky. They look pricky. Don't, don't go too near them because they can shoot. Their really? Arrow. They, they can shoot out. better than my aiming. <laughs> Oh, look at that. What's so cute? Oh, that's a family here. A family of three. Hope they are not going to come sad. and attack us. That's sad. It might not be handy, but still it's nice. Oh, look at them. What are they doing? They kind of wow. That's really... Well, you see nothing at the back. Here's my flashlight, my LED flashlight. Isn't that nice view? Anyways, today's main topic is, uh, is it safe to hike in Hong Kong? Um, I would say 90% is pretty safe. Especially in the Hong Kong area, it's pretty good. In Kowloon areas, hiking sometimes can be a little bit dangerous. It's because um, it's slippery and the moss and it's humid and people slip and drop off a cliff and that's really dangerous. So usually they have to carry their cell phones or you know some medical basic stuff. But here is a little short hike and I think it's okay. And another thing is uh, eye eyes. Uh, you might say, oh yeah, China, we are the same, China. but it's actually has an international border. So there's a lot of IIs, criminals, and uh, you know, all types of illegal immigrants that uh, come across the border to Hong Kong, to the international border. They just do call it international border, and it's fenced off and with guards, but somehow they smuggle, and they hide inside these uh, little mountains, and they live, so when they see hikers like us coming up and especially when you're alone or just a couple of people they would come and uh, rob you <laughs> take your cell phone take your money whatever and usually you just don't fight with them and just keep some money in your wallet or something like that and sometimes when I come here I just don't bring my ID or anything I just put in you know, 100 bucks or something so if they want take it take my cell phone whatever but usually it's pretty rare but it does happen. So the topic here, is it safe to hike in Hong Kong? Uh, generally, I would say it's pretty safe because, you know, I'm still here, obviously, and I've hiked this track numerous times. So, yep, I, I would highly recommend you guys coming in because Hong Kong is a really busy city with seven million plus in a really, really, it's a dot on the map, you know. 
and trying to get away from all the hustles and the city construction people you know and it's really nice because you don't hear anything you know you just hear the planes up there and you can see the stars and there's no light emissions you know now it's a big deal people having light pollution in in their cities and this is a perfect place just to keep you know keep nature at its best so i would highly recommend you guys come over to hong kong and in hong kong there's so many islands that you can hike there's lagoons you know actually and you can go skinny dipping <laughs> and there'll be probably nobody there and it's pretty safe and um and there's so many outer islands in Hong Kong, take a ferry and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do that in the future and I'll vlog on something like that. But this is just my general, you know, my familiar hiking place. That's where I get my uh, exercise in. So uh, anyways, thank you for watching this uh, awesome video and uh, relax, enjoy, like and share. And I'll see you on the trails.